It's a matter of taking the side of the weak against the strong, something the best people have always done. Never give up, for that is just the place and time that the tide will turn. The truth is the kindest thing we can give folks in the end. I feel now that the time is come when even a woman or a child who can speak a word for freedom and humanity is bound to speak. I hope every woman who can write will not be silent. When you get into a tight place, and everything goes against you till it seems as if you could not hold on a minute longer, never give up then, for that's just the place and time that the tide will turn. The bitterest tears shed over graves are for words left unsaid and deeds left undone. So much has been said and sung of beautiful young girls, why doesn't somebody wake up to the beauty of old women? No ornament of a house can compare with books, they are constant company in a room, even when you are not reading them. The past, the present and the future are really one, they are today. Common sense is seeing things as they are, and doing things as they ought to be. There is more done with pens than with swords. Eyes that have never wept cannot comprehend sorrow. I wrote what I did because as a woman, as a mother, I was oppressed and broken-hearted with the sorrows and injustice I saw, because as a Christian I felt the dishonor to Christianity, because as a lover of my county, I trembled at the coming day of wrath. All men are free and equal in the grave, if it comes to that. Talk of the abuses of slavery. Humbug. The thing itself is the essence of all abuse. Half the misery in the world comes of want of courage to speak and to hear the truth plainly and in a spirit of love. It takes years and maturity to make the discovery that the power of faith is nobler than the power of doubt, and that there is a celestial wisdom in the ingenuous propensity to trust, which belongs to honest and noble natures. I never thought my book would turn so many people against slavery. Friendships are discovered rather than made. The pain of discipline is short, but the glory of the fruition is eternal. It is no merit in the sorrowful that they weep, or to the oppressed and smothering that they gasp and struggle, not to me, that I must speak for the oppressed, who cannot speak for themselves. It is impossible to make anything beautiful or desirable in the best regulated administration of slavery. Money is a great help everywhere, can't have too much if you get it honestly. Self-respect is impossible without liberty. If we let our friend become cold and selfish and exacting without a remonstrance, we are no true lover, no true friend. I am speaking now of the highest duty we owe our friends, the noblest, the most sacred, that of keeping their own nobleness, goodness, pure and incorrupt. If we let our friend become cold and selfish and exacting without remonstrance, we are no true lover, no true friend. Praise is sunshine, it warms, it inspires, it promotes growth, blame and rebuke are rain and hail, they beat down and bedraggle, even though they may at times be necessary. The person who decides what shall be the food and drink of a family, and the modes of its preparation, is the one who decides, to a greater or less extent, what shall be the health of that family. The longest way must have its close, the gloomiest night will wear on to a morning. Let us never doubt everything that ought to happen is going to happen. He who has nothing to lose can afford all risks. There are in this world two kinds of natures, those that have wings, and those that have feet, the winged and the walking spirits. The walking are the logicians, the winged are the instinctive and poetic. I did not write it. God wrote it. I merely did his dictation.
Once in an age God sends to some of us a friend who loves in us, not a false imagining, an unreal character, but looking through the rubbish of our imperfections, loves in us the divine ideal of our nature, loves, not the man that we are, but the angel that we may be. Treat them like dogs, and you'll have dogs works and dogs actions. Treat them like men, and you'll have men's works. One part of the science of living is to learn just what our own responsibility is, and to let other people's alone. We should remember in our dealings with animals that they are a sacred trust to us from our Heavenly Father. They are dumb and cannot speak for themselves. In America, far too large a portion of the diet consists of animal food. As a nation, the Americans are proverbial for the gross and luxurious diet with which they load their tables, and there can be no doubt that the general health of the nation would be increased by a change in our customs in this respect. The power of fictitious writing, for good as well as evil is a thing which ought most seriously to be reflected on. No one can fail to see that in our day it is becoming a very great agency. It has always been a favorite idea of mine, that there is so much of the human in every man, that the life of any one individual, however obscure, if really and vividly perceived in all its aspirations, struggles, failures, and successes, would command the interest of all others. The hand of benevolence is everywhere stretched out, searching into abuses, righting wrongs, alleviating distresses, and bringing to the knowledge and sympathies of the world the lowly, the oppressed, and the forgotten. How, then, shall a Christian bear fruit? By efforts and struggles to obtain that which is freely given, by meditations on watchfulness, on prayer, on action, on temptation, and on dangers. No, there must be a full concentration of the thoughts and affections on Christ, a complete surrender of the whole being to Him, a constant looking to Him for grace. Let us resolve, first, to attain the grace of silence, second, to deem all fault finding that does no good a sin, third, to practice the grade and virtue of praise. Any mind that is capable of real sorrow is capable of good. Why don't somebody wake up to the beauty of old women? Many a humble soul will be amazed to find that the seed it sowed in weakness, in the dust of daily life, has blossomed into immortal flowers under the eye of the Lord. All places where women are excluded tend downward to barbarism, but the moment she is introduced, they come in with her courtesy, cleanliness, sobriety, and order. Once, in an age, God sends to some of us a friend who loves in us, not a false imagining, an unreal character, but, looking through all the rubbish of our imperfections, loves in us the divine ideal of our nature, loves, not the man that we are, but the angel that we may be. Witness, eternal God. Oh, witness that, from this hour, I will do what one man can to drive out this curse of slavery from my land. So subtle is the atmosphere of opinion that it will make itself felt without words. The greater the interest involved in a truth the more careful, self-distrustful, and patient should be the inquiry. I would not attack the faith of a heathen without being sure I had a better one to put in its place, because, such as it is, it is better than nothing. When you get into a tight place, and everything goes against you till it seems as if you could not hold on a minute longer, never give up then, for that's just the place and time that the tide will turn. Never trust to prayer without using every means in your power, and never use the means without trusting in prayer. Get your evidences of grace by pressing forward to the mark, and not by groping with a lantern after the boundary lines, and so, boys, go, and God bless you. The literature of a people must so ring from the sense of its nationality, and nationality is impossible without self-respect, and self-respect is impossible without liberty. 
I no more thought of style or literary excellence than the mother who rushes into the street and cries for help to save her children from a burning house, thinks of the teachings of the rhetorician or the elocutionist. There is no independence and pertinacity of opinion like that of these seemingly soft, quiet creatures, whom it is so easy to silence, and so difficult to convince. Home is a place not only of strong affections, but of entire unreserve, it is life's on dress rehearsal, its backroom, its dressing room. Oh, ye who visit the distressed, do ye know that everything your money can buy, given with a cold, averted face, is not worth one honest tear shed in real sympathy? Fanaticism is governed by imagination rather than judgment. If you destroy delicacy and a sense of shame in a young girl, you deprave her very fast. These German semenod race, a mixture of clay and spirit what with their beer drinking and smoking, and their slow, stolid ways, you would think them perfectly earth, but ethereal fire is all the while working in them and bursting out in most unexpected jets of poetry and sentiment, like blossoms on a cactus. Scenes of blood and cruelty are shocking to our ear and heart. What man has nerve to do, man has not nerve to hear. Religion. Is what you hear at church religion? Is that which can bend and turn, and descend and ascend, to fit every crooked phase of selfish, worldly society, religion? Is that religion which is less scrupulous, less generous, less just, less considerate for man, than even my own ungodly, worldly, blinded nature? No. When I look for religion, I must look for something above me, and not something beneath. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.